Hey everybody, this is Carson Clues with ATA Martial Arts Kaiser, and today we're going to be covering a technique tip to um, help with one of the most, how do we say this, depressing topics for any martial arts of any martial artist of any age, and that's the topic of balance. Balance is something that we never remember when our balance is good. We always remember when we stumble, and so we're going to be covering a strategy that can increase the probability of keeping great balance during a kick. All right, so again, if you guys like these videos, um, we ask that you like, subscribe, comment, share it with your, um, your instructor and student friends, and uh, please give us your feedback. We'd love to hear if this helps you or if you have ideas too. All right, let's get started. Today, this video is going to be about balance. Uh, so, in order to have better balance, some people believe that balance is a matter of luck. And so, sometimes balance is good, sometimes it's not. Balance is a matter of discipline and habit. So, if you do the stuff that is right, your balance will fix. If, if your balance is off, it's not a bad day, it's, it's something went wrong, and it's something that we can control. Today we're gonna to give you two tips that will immediately, if you're not already doing these things, they'll immediately improve your balance on any kicks. Two tips, and they're simple tips too. Number one, we're talking about kicking balance. Stance balance, like being in a stance with two feet on the ground is still balance, but when people talk about balance, a lot of times they're talking about during a kick or during a chamber for a kick. So, the two tips we're gonna to cover today are this. Bending your base knee, your bottom knee, and sucking in your stomach, all right? These are two tips that will magically improve your balance. I didn't say fix, you might, there's a few other things as well. So let's go with a side kick chamber really quick. So if I'm chambering for a side kick, if my leg is straight, then I have no balance adjuster, and my body's just gonna fall wherever it feels like going. So, if I bend my knee, the bottom knee, that knee can subconsciously be my balance management system. So tip number one that will immediately improve the balance is bend the bottom knee. Whether I'm chambering for a front kick, I want to bend the bottom knee. If I'm kicking and re-chambering, I want to keep the bottom knee bent. If I'm doing a round kick, I have to pivot and keep that bottom knee bent. The better I am at bottom knee bent, the better my balance will be. Same thing goes for side kicks. I do a side kick right here, bottom knee stays bent, and the side kick balance will improve. I keep it bent so that that knee can manage my balance. That's tip number one. Tip number two is sucking in the stomach. In Cirque du Soleil, uh, high gymnastics level athletes, this is called hollow position. Sucking in the stomach, rolling the hips up a little bit, and curving the shoulders like you're hollowing out right here. So, another tip that will improve your balance is whatever you're doing, sucking that stomach in and getting a little bit of curve happening here. If you watch any successful high ranks, you're going to see them curve their upper body, and that improves their balance on all their kicks. This is called hollow position in Circus LA. The simple version, sucking your stomach. The truth, curve hips up, shoulders down just a little bit, and then I call it cocooning for the students. And you should be able to improve your balance on all your martial arts techniques. All right, go practice your bent bottom knee and practice your hollow position. And if it helps, I wanna know. Give me your feedback, see if this helps you. All right, thanks guys. Uh -huh. 